Hey guys, Harrison here. Uh, I've got a fresh haircut and a fresh video for you today. Today I'm going to be showing you how I edit my audio in Adobe Premiere Pro and how I turn audio that sounds like this into something that sounds like this. So let's jump in and get into it. Alrighty, so we've jumped into Premiere Pro and I've just got a little sample audio clip here so we can have a quick listen to it. Alright, here is also just a quick little audio sample that will jump over into Premiere Pro and edit up a bit. Uh, my mic's about just over an arm's length away and here is some louder talking and here is some softer talking so let's take it in and see what we can do all right so the first thing we can see when we're going through that sample is that uh if we're looking at the levels over here if we're looking over here at the levels as we're going through audio sample we can see it's pretty low we're not getting past about 12 12 18 is roughly where we're getting to so the first and by far the simplest thing we can do is get our audio clip, right click, and then we're going to go here to audio gain. And you can see it's saying our peak amplitude is minus five decibels. So that's a bit low. What we can do though is press on this normalized max peaks option, set it to zero. And if we hit okay, you'll see it's actually boosted the peaks so that the uh, highest peak in this clip, which looks like it's about here, that is zero, which means it would just be clipping and everything else is going to be below. So if you listen now, all right, here is also just a quick little audio sample. We can hear that it's a bit louder than it was before undoing it and playing it again. All right, here is also just a quick little audio sample. Putting it back on. All right, here is also just a quick little audio sample. You can definitely tell that it's gotten louder. So that's the first thing and by far the easiest thing you can do is just increase the audio gain a little bit to really just make that clip a bit louder and a bit easier to hear. So we've increased the gain. The second thing that we're going to do is not a whole lot more complicated. We're going to go up here to effects. This is the effects panel. You can get to it by going window uh, effects if it's not already open. And what we're going to do is we're going to search for vocal enhancer. We can see I've actually made a preset of it, but it's here under audio effects. So if we drag that on over here and I'll go over to the effects on this clip, you can see we've got a new vocal enhancer effect here. And what that's going to do, it's just a uh, audio effect in Premiere Pro and it just boosts those vocals a little bit, really, you know, makes those vocals sound a bit nicer. If we go custom setup, we can see right now it's set to uh, female. I'm going to set it to male because I am a male and uh, I'm going to clip X and now we can listen to it and you'll hear the difference. All right, here is also just a quick little Turn audio sample that will jump over into Premiere Pro and on. edit up a bit. Uh, my mic's about just over an arm's length Off. away. And here is some louder talking on here is some softer talking. So let's take it in and see what we can do. It's nothing crazy, definitely, but it does, you know, make those tones a bit deeper and just overall, I think, gives the voice a bit more sort of definition. Obviously, if you are a female, you'd want to set it to female. And if you are doing some sort of, you know, song, you would probably put it on music. So I'm just going to leave it on male and let's move on to our third effect. Also let me just say that it's a bit uh, blown out. I just quickly did this. I forgot to do it and uh, hacked to quickly do it at the end. That's the window right there. The softbox isn't on but the window is shining through. That's just why it's a bit bright as you can see. The sun is right in my face but I think it looks pretty cool. So we're going to keep it this way. All right our third effect we need to come back over here and it's called para parametric equalizer. Here it is. We're going to drag it over. And this is just going to add some extra sort of EQ to our, or some equalization to our sample. So if you press edit, we have this a wave, I suppose, and we can move these around to change how the wave is going to sound. And so if we press play. All right, here is also just a quick little audio sample. You can hear we'll jump over into Premiere Pro that we're changing oh, how the out. sample just sounds. So obviously we're not uh, going to keep it like this. We're going to go... Here, and I'll just put it back on. All right, we've reset everything. Uh, you have two options. One, uh, you can go to the presets, go down, and there's actually a whole lot of presets down here. So if we're going to, you know, change a voice or, you know, improve sort of vocals, we've got two here, rap vocals, which <laughs> this is not a rap, so I won't be using it. Uh, vocal enhancer, if we press on that, we'll just press play. Some softer talking. So let's take it in and see what we can do. I'll take it back to the start. All right, here is also and just a quick on an audio off. sample that will jump over into Premiere Pro and edit up a bit. Uh, my mic's about just over an arm's length away. So let's take... Just turning it on and off. You can hear it's doing a little bit in there. Personally, I think that's just a bit too much. Uh, I can actually show you here. I've got a preset for it. I'll put it on. Delete this old one. And you can see, if I look, it's just a little bit at the 
uh, lower bass tones and the higher tones. So I'll show you how to do that yourself. So we'll just go back to default. So you can see it's all just aligned. I'll go full reset. And that is just gonna give us the uh, lows and the highs. They're the only two things we wanna touch. And then all we have to do is just boost the lows up a little bit, boost the highs up a little bit. Not too much. You can go back down here and play over your clip to hear how it's sounding. Just check that it's enabled. Also, just a quick little audio sample. You can hear. We'll jump over into Premiere Pro and in it up a bit. Uh, my mic's about just over an arm's length away. So let's take. So I'm just moving that dot over until I can. Sounds you know nice. Sounds like something I'm after. Uh, so I think I'll leave that one here and then I'll go back to the start and do the same for the high tones. All right, here is also just a quick little audio sample that we'll jump over into Premiere Pro and edit up a bit. Uh, my mic's about just over an arm's length away and here is some... All right, I think that sounds pretty nice. Obviously, you don't want to go crazy, as you heard before. You know, if you drag it around, you can get some pretty interesting stuff happening. But this is all we need, nothing too crazy, and that's really should just be your sort of mantra for editing, you know, photo or audio editing in general is just, you know, little edits, building those little edits up into, you know, something, a bigger sort of final edit rather than going all crazy at once. That's how you get something that can sound pretty ugly, pretty over edited. So I think this sounds fine. What you can actually do if I reset it. So if you just remember 72 and about 10,000, if I go full reset, cool. if I go back and what we can actually do is just type in 72 and we'll set that to 10. And just before 10,000, set that to 10. And that's pretty much my settings if you want to copy them in. Or you can uh, do that yourself. You can have a crack at it yourself and see what you come up with. Obviously, my voice is different to yours or whatever you're editing. So it's probably a good idea for you to uh, do it yourself. But here's a starting place for you if that's what you're after. All right, so last effect, we need to go back over to here and we're going to search for dynamics. And you'll see we have three choices here. This is an obsolete one, so you don't want to be choosing that one. We can collapse that. This is the one you're after, dynamics. We're going to drag this onto our clip. And you can see if we go edit, it's a bit more complicated than the other three that we've used so far. So let's just take a second and walk through what each of these settings can do. All right, so we have four different settings on this panel here. The first one is auto gate. Uh, you might know that as sort of like a, like noise floor. What it can essentially do is let us just cut off sounds below a certain threshold. That's this one here. Uh, it's probably not an effect you'd want to use for this clip because there's not much background noise, but we're not going to use auto gate as it's called in this dynamics panel. We don't need that for this clip, I think. So we're going to turn that off. Compressor though is definitely something we're going to use. So what the compressor is going to do is this stuff in the middle here, it's going to boost up a little bit up to where we tell it. This higher stuff, it probably won't do much to it because it's already pretty loud. And this lower stuff, it's just going to keep boosting up until it's about in line with everything else and just sort of going to level out our audio a bit. So what we're going to do, uh, if we play it now. All right, here is also just a quick little audio sample. Turning it on and off. Jump over into Premiere Pro and edit up a bit. You can hear it's not really doing much because we haven't tuned it. So I've actually just written down my settings here that I use because they are a bit uh, tricky to use sometimes. But if we go nine, minus nine uh, decibels is the threshold. So that's just going to say anything below minus nine, we need to boost it up a little bit. Ratio, we're going to go, if I can get it, 1.9. Attack and release, we can leave. And makeup, 5.4, I found works well for me. And that's just saying anything below uh, minus nine, we're gonna boost it up by about 5.4 and try and make it a bit louder. So if I go back in now. And here is also just a quick on. little audio sample that will jump over into Premiere Pro and edit up a bit. Uh, my mic's about just over an arm's length away. And here is some louder talking and here is some softer talking. You can see. So let's take it in and see what we can do. So while the clip was playing, you could see that the levels were almost, you know, at about minus five, which is what we'd expect. If you take, you know, minus 10, add on five with the makeup, you're gonna get about minus five. And that's what we were seeing. Even over here at the quieter stuff, it was boosting it up if we just played again. And here is some softer talking. You can see, yeah, it's getting to about minus nine, minus 12, which is, you know, if you've got a mixture of high, like loud uh, vocals and softer vocals, this compressor will just even them out a bit. And personally for me, I find that in my videos, sometimes I can get pretty excited, talk a bit louder. Whereas other times I'm just, you know, a bit quieter, just going through uh, what I've got to say. And that is where a compressor would come in handy when you've got to level out those really loud parts and those quieter parts and sort of bring them together in the middle. That's what we're after. All right, so this third option here, this is called an expander. And it essentially does the opposite 
of what our compressor does. Our compressor takes the highs and the lows and tries to sort of squash them down into a pretty level uh, sound to keep everything on roughly the same audio level. And expander does the opposite. It takes something that's pretty level or a bit off and stretches it out a bit so you're getting more sort of vocal range, more dynamic range in that audio. In some situations, that's going to be what you want. Personally, for me, I don't... If you know you're watching on your phone, you don't want it to be really loud one minute and then quiet down the next minute. So a compressor is the right thing for my YouTube videos to keep everything level. Uh, an expander is not. An expander, uh, I'm sure there's lots of, you know, places you want to use it. YouTube videos, probably not the best idea because obviously you want to try and keep everything, you know, level so everyone can hear it and don't have to be changing the volume all the time. So we're going to leave the expander alone and come down here to the limiter. So the limiter is pretty self-explanatory. What it does is if it, uh, the vocals get too high or if the audio gets too high, it's just going to cut them off. So you're going to avoid clipping the audio. Uh, I do use a limiter just on the off chance it gets a bit high. So I'm going to turn that on. Uh, a minus 20 threshold, if we listen, into Premiere Pro and in a is going to keep everything down at minus 20. And that's not what we want. We set our gain to zero. Uh, for this one, zero is what we're after. Because if we're setting our gain to zero, if we're trying to get our audio as loud as it can be without clipping, you want to get to zero dBs. And this limiter is going to make sure that if, you know, you're boosting it, accidentally boosted a bit too much maybe, that it's not going to clip. It's just going to keep it just below that zero. So it's all right. So I'll hit enter. Listen. Just a quick little audio sample that will jump over into Premiere Pro and in it up a bit, turning it, oh, my mic's about just, so turning it on and off, we shouldn't hear a difference because hopefully our audio isn't clipping, but the limiter is just sort of a safety thing, just in case. All right, so just exiting out of that, you can see we've applied these three effects and boosted the gain. So what I'll do is I'll turn off these three effects first and we can have just a listen to the start of this clip. All right, here is also just a quick little audio sample. And if I go back and we're gonna turn all of these on, all right, here is also just a quick little audio sample. That is quite the improvement. If you'll agree, I think, you know, at the start it was pretty, pretty bland. It was a bit quiet for us. All right, here is also just a quick little audio sample. It just sounds a bit weak, not too much there. What we've ended up doing, we've applied the dynamics to increase the volume of it. The parametric equalizer just to add some EQ to our vocals and the vocal enhancer, again, just to, you know, adjust those vocals a bit and really bring out um, sort of that warmth and bring out some of the tone. And it's pretty crazy to go through the sample and hear just what we've done. Let me go back to the start and I'll turn all these off and turn them on one by one as the clip's playing through. So we'll start it. All right, here is also just a quick little audio sample. Turn on vocals. Jump over into Premiere Pro and in it up a bit. Oh, my mic's EQ. out. Just over an arm's length away, and here is Damn some it. louder talking, and here is some softer talking. So let's take it in and see what we can do. There you go. I think you've got to agree that that is certainly something. I think we've improved that clip a whole lot. Just by, it wasn't that much. It's taken us about, what, five minutes, ten minutes maybe. Uh, the vocal enhancer is probably the easiest thing you'll ever do. Adding on the vocal enhancer, you've pretty much got to drag and drop it and then just pick what you're after. Gain is even easier. You've just got to boost it up a bit. The parametric equalizer wasn't too hard either. You can just copy my settings if you want and or just play around with the uh, wave a bit until you get something you like. Dynamics may be a bit daunting at first, but really Premiere Pro has it all set up pretty well and you just need to fine tune it to what you're after. And in the end, we've ended up with something that I'm, I'm proud of. I think that sounds a whole lot better than what we started. Hopefully you can take these and use them as well. So thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed. Even if you only end up using one or two of these tips, you know, um, gain and vocal enhancer are probably the easiest two to start with you know it can definitely make a big improvement to your audio and as i'm sure you've heard a lot audio is just as important if not more important than the actual video when you're making these videos whether they're just youtube videos or films whatever they are audio is you know at least 50 percent of the whole clip so it's always a good idea to really focus on making it the best it can be if you did find these tips handy first of all let me know in the comments section what you're using them for because i'm very interested to hear what you've come up with second of all don't forget to leave a like and subscribe down below third of all if you are interested this is sort of a filmmaking photography channel uh, i do have a photography instagram account which would be really awesome if you could check that out as well apart from that though thank you for watching i hope you can you know use these to your full advantage and really blow people away with your amazing audio. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.